have baubles on our Christmas trees and holly on the mantelpiece, but there's no reason why Christmas decorations have to be reserved for inside the house. Hello Key. Hello. Hi there, thank you for having us here today. You're very welcome. I hear that you're going to be showing us how to plant some colourful winter pots. I am, yes. And there's so much to choose from, yes, isn't there? Yes, there's a huge range of things you can put in pots, yeah, make some... Yeah. What have you got here that we can look at potting? Well, nearby here we've got some uh, lovely gall farriers, which is a sort yeah. of, which trails off the edge of pots, but in the garden it would be in a, in a shady spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we've got the pyrocantha obviously yeah, over the, there, which is lovely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cyclamens, of course, we the see them everywhere, don't yes, we? Yes, Pinks and reds and whites, yeah. they're really lovely. Shall we get choosing then? Yeah, indeed, let's go. now we've got this lovely big plant in yes. here and all these lovely plants that we've picked so let's get started planting them okay we'll start right there start, start with this lovely uh, christmas rose here it's a, a, a newish variety helleball christmas carol which yeah. flowers a little bit earlier christmas carol yeah it's which <laughs> flowers, flowers a little bit earlier than the ordinary lovely. helleball niger yeah. so it's always a good one for pots for, and quite for good christmas. for shade as well isn't it yeah, yeah, it yes it'll go well in shade yes Gorf area. Yeah. It's a, quite a low growing plant. Again, it's for the shade, but find, find in the sun, sun or shade in the winter. Yeah. Lovely little hardy sycamore. Flowers all through the winter. Really, really tough little plants. Flowers from December right through to probably March. Yeah. At this time of year, you can plant lots of evergreens, which gives you structure through the, through the winter in the garden and things like skimmers, which will have nice buds throughout the winter and then open up into scented flowers in the spring. And also buried plants like pyrocantha and things like that, which will feed the birds and uh, keep them happy throughout the winter, which is always good to look after the wildlife. We've got a piece of resistance here, haven't we? Yeah, for just a fun little tree for the kids. This one's yeah. like a little Picea conica, but it's been sprayed with a glow-in-the-dark <laughs> <laughs> substance. and uh, yeah. Just pop that right in the middle. How fantastic, it's like being in the Alps. Look at that. Just clamp him straight in the middle there. Look at that, that's taken minutes, just a few minutes to create that plant. Yeah, and that's a, that's a plant that goes right through to the spring. Yeah. After Christmas you could perhaps change the... Yeah, change this tree, to something else middle, that's yeah, different just, and relevant yeah, for springtime. Yeah, but lots, everything else... to choose from, yeah, but everything else will go yeah. through the spring. Well, this just goes to show how we can have lots of colour in our gardens over winter. And with a little bit of decoration, here's my perfect pot for Christmas. 